Hello, and welcome back to another thrilling episode of Off the Dome. I'm your humble interviewer, Jordan Brown, and with me, as always, is our brilliant bestie. Say hi, brilliant bestie. Hi, brilliant bestie. As always, look at us. A podcast yeah, look at who us. we make. Look at this. I uh, uh, changed it finally for you so that it was no longer the confusing which one of us is an interviewer. You you are just brilliant bestie, and we can we can. I move love from that, because guess what? The world um, is never going to know who's interviewing whom. <laughs> <laughs> Two snakes I eating... Think- Eating their own tails next to each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Vic. Jordan. Well, before uh, we get into the levels of congratulations that are deserved to be heaped upon you this week, I just have one question. How are Jellicle adoptions going? Oh, my God. I love that sketch. I legitimately do love that sketch. You think you're going to get me? You're not going to get me on that one. That is that is That was one of my favorite sketches I ever did. I literally just sat on set and talked musical theater, which is one of my favorite things to do with Grant O'Brien. Cause I can, I'm good with musical theater and musical theater stuff in a room full of people that know nothing or very little about musical theater. And then the second Mm. I get in there with anybody with any knowledge, I'm just like, tell me everything. What do I need to know? Yeah. We were talking about Zach and Jess right before the show started. Zach Reno, not Zach Oyama, not to be confused with who we're going to be diving into in depth momentarily, but I imagine they have a pretty, a pretty hefty musical theater knowledge base uh, uh, plunking around in their brains. Never seen a show. Of theirs or (laughs) any musical theater? They've never seen it. I can't say that. (laughs) (laughs) That was a joke. (laughs) I I can't. Um, I can't say that and then have somebody think that that's actually true. They're very, very knowledgeable um, and they're brilliant and they're wonderful. Yeah. And maybe, who knows, obviously you can't say yet, but potential season two guests for very important people. That's right, gang. Very important people. Unsurprising to anyone, but still very exciting to break the news yesterday. uh, Picked up for season two. Jordan Brown original how, scoop. Look at that. Yeah. Come on. How, how, Huge. How are you, how you feeling? I feel great. I feel wonderful about it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited that people uh, enjoyed it and that Dropout's, you know, obviously uh, happy with it. I mean, the people at Dropout have always, like, uh, been so um, wonderful and so supportive. But also, too, you know, with, like, the machine of a company, you just also, like, never know with stuff like that. And I was just so... Um, so thrilled top to bottom that you know people were liking it and it was doing well and that we're getting to do it again yeah i did have a moment of panic yesterday when i posted the clip because i tagged tamar and i was like oh what if they didn't invite her back for season two what a true nightmare this would be couldn't have done Um, without her literally everything you see visually in that show is tamar so for whatever reason they were like oh we're doing it but not with tamar it just wouldn't be the same show it would have to i think be rebranded as a completely different show she messaged me immediately to be like, thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm so excited the news is out. And I was like, oh, thank God. Who didn't burn that bridge. Uh, yep. like all, <laughs> yeah. of, all of my dropout bridges are burned when I announced season two and Tamar didn't know because she's been cut out. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, but yeah, I, I, so excited for you. Um, thank you so I'm, much. I really appreciate that. I really feel like we made this happen together. <laughs> absolutely not. But you getting I, the word out there, I think, was important, too. So I think it was sort of a team effort and you're on the team now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate it. Hey, I have been genuinely pushing to be part of the team in a uh, 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 conference form. Um, uh, so um, uh, I I've... love that that's where you see your slot and you're like, that's how I'm going to get in is via conferences. Look, I'm not a strong <laughs> enough improviser to come be on the show. No, but um, you're a literal reporter now. And you're now you have a badge on Reddit. You were saying I like I think that this is this is huge. Like it's this is official. Um, but I, listen, I know nothing about like, um, are they called conferences? Would that be what they would be called? Mm -hmm. Festivals? Yeah. I mean, cons, cons and festivals. Yeah. Cons, cons and fests. I know nothing about cons and fests. And so this is very, um, this is very exciting. I'm going to my first fest this upcoming weekend. And that's the first time that's going to be my first experience with it. Yeah. If you're in Austin, Texas and you have a South by Southwest badge already, or are willing to drop. Ooh, quite a bit of money on one. Quite a bit uh, of money. See Vic at two shows uh, over next weekend. Yeah. Uh, Have they been announced yet? Have I been announced yet? No, I don't think so. But we're announcing it here and I feel comfortable um, with that. Because honestly, it's happening next weekend. And so I feel good. I feel good about that. (laughs) Yeah. I I say like I 
Oh, man. I got really lucky. So I saw Improv for Human Flesh. So in the devastating news, this is the first year in so long that I'm not going to be at South by. Um, but uh, last year I got to see Improv for Humans and Jess McKenna was on the show. And I was standing outside waiting to be let into the theater when she walked up. And thank God I was so tired that it took my brain a minute to register who it was because I audibly squealed when I realized who it was, but she was so far up the ramp that she didn't hear me. And I was like, oh, that would have been a nightmare of just oh, like, Jordan, imagine nice. walking up and seeing a row of people and one person locks eyes with you and goes, oh, like, just like a, a terror. Um, anyway. No, she's so nice. She's, she's so wonderful. Um, that is... I, I love that story. That's great. <laughs> yeah. And she's fantastic. Um, uh, she's yeah, so the, good on the, the show. funniest um, person on the planet, her and Zach. Yeah. I, do you have any? It's true. I, I mean, like, obviously, like, I'm sure you're still in very early stages of VIP2. Um, any, like, called shots you want to throw out of, like, dream guests that you can go grab? Oh. Barbara Walters. Great. I love it. I, <laughs> wildly have a connection to Barbara I could maybe introduce do you really uh, how I do. fun would that be putting Barbara Walters in like <laughs> a kitty cat wig and like yeah like really really dressing her up only to have her be completely um herself uh no yeah. improv at all just no doing improv. a regular interview <laughs> mm -hmm. no idea what the show is so confused the whole time um yeah I how do you know Barbara Walters uh, someone I work with is the Barbara Walters chair for something, 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 something. Um, we could make it happen. Uh, so, in theory, could make it happen. Okay. Um, All right. Well, well. Yeah. And so, listen, the it's the circle's getting smaller and smaller. I yeah. the circle being the world, <laughs> smaller and smaller. Um. Okay. All right. So my dream is coming true, is what I'm hearing by that. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I I've know, never it's... spoken to her. She doesn't know I exist, but I yet. will ask my yet. coworker. Yet, to put she doesn't me in know contact. you exist yet. Yeah, like how would you like to do a comedy show for She's tens love of people? She's gonna um, love it. Yeah. She's gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be perfect, I, uh... and she's gonna love it. Um, <laughs> I season two. I really don't know. Like it's because it is the type of thing of like I, I just like. There's so many people that I can think would be incredible in this. I usually am like, you know, I, it's also this like tricky, tough thing of like, I, I truly think that like, I, I have in, in the circle, what am I saying? Do you know sometimes when you just start talking and it's just like, I, I have a thought and it's there and I can see it. I'm walking towards mm -hmm. it and I'm just thinking if I can give myself enough ramp, I'm going to, I'm going to approach the thought and then it's going to come tumbling out and then it's just not happening. How many yes. times can I start this sentence? Do you think it's just like, I, look, listen, if you think about 45 it, five minutes, you go. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot of, uh, you know, like, I feel like I'm surrounded by so many funny people and all of them would be so spectacular from like the dropout family. And then also just like, the in it by nature of being in LA, like the UCB Groundlings family, and then also just like you know, a lot of uh, a lot of creators out here that just would would do so so wonderfully on the show. I don't know how they're gonna pick who's on season two, and I am yeah. happy I'm not the one making that final <laughs> decision because I would just be like, we're doing um 140 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no one would be upset. Um, the I, so I got to break the news yesterday. Uh, yes. I posted uh, posted on the Reddit with my uh, dropout reporter. Uh, uh, what flare is that called? That I, Badge. Flare. Flare. Yeah. Flare. Um, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so it was like, called like flare, if, and then I was like, "That can't be right." And so then I did backtrack. Congratulations! Yeah. How long you. have you had that? Uh, yeah. Like a week. Uh, <laughs> Baby. <laughs> one of the, one of the mods reached out and was like, "Hey, I give like the." like actual cast like flair so that people know this is really iffy doing an ama because it's like dropout cast or whatever on it and he's like do you want one this is dropout reporter and i was like yeah more than anything <laughs> um <laughs> do you want four thousand dollars i don't know is that something you'd be yeah. interested in <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah i posted uh so i posted you know like that and uh, i was like who do you want to see in like the next season because um uh, 
you know, one of the tricks to the internet is you get people commenting, it drives up engagement and sure. like, you get more eyeballs on it, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, first of all, so many people so excited to see people that are going to be in the next six episodes. Um, so many people are like, oh, oh man, Ro Ross would be great. I'm like, yep, <laughs> great news for you then. Um, <laughs> well, it's like, it is twofold that's very exciting to hear for me. One, because it's just like, oh, we're teeing ourselves up for success here, if that's the case, because then yeah. it's it's an easy way to just like be be hitting, hitting balls, hitting hitting. Hitting balls. Hitting that's hitting that's the park. expression. There you <laughs> get, go. Getting some balls um, hit. It's the perfect way yeah. for that. Uh, but also, too, it is, um, um, it is nice. It is nice. What was I going to say? Also, it's nice because we know that people are going to be excited about the future episodes. And then, yes. Oh no, Jordan, what is going on? I don't Not a know. single tech I'm issue in sight. Is the tech issue is up here? Yeah, I'm loving the energy. <sighs> Can I tell you, I woke up seven minutes before this interview <laughs> incredible i hey i appreciate you waking up seven minutes before the interview i was so excited and, and my alarm it. it said chat with jordan is what the alarm setting is for the one that goes off at 9 50 i don't know if it was a surprise that we do this at 10. um we do have a set time. Someone was at, someone uh, <laughs> recently was like, I'll just, I'll fill the space for you. Uh, someone was like, you should like have like a, like standing time with Vic. And I was like, you know, we, we do. do already. Uh, <laughs> great I news was, done. That's the other reason uh, I would be excited about that. I did have a very strong second reason. Part of it is my fault because I be. phrased it. VIP will be returning for season two, assuming that everyone knows there are 12 episodes and we're only halfway through season one. Um, so some people were like, wait, is it over? And I was like, oh, no, no, no. I get why you think that from the way I worded it. You are not as deep in the paint about VIP as I am. Um, but yes, yeah, so many people. Oh. Rashawn, Ross. Yes. Oh, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Keep going, keep going. I'm, I got it locked. <laughs> A bunch of people really want to see what Allie Beardsley can bring to the table. And I was like, dang great news yeah uh, you're gonna be so excited it is nice too because like some of the episodes coming up like the it's like you know it's like the past it's like uh, uh some of the things that people liked about some of the past characters but also it's just like you know totally different characters so i hope people are uh that love them as much as as we do um okay other thing is i think like something that i uh because especially this first season you know like i uh I saw like the trailer along with everybody else and the character reveals. And I was a little fearful, you know, the show is not about the reveals. The show is about like the process of putting on the makeup and the show is about the improv afterwards. And there's enough there that even if you've seen the characters, uh, oftentimes I think it's like leads into some of the excitement, but, um, I, uh, I was glad to see, cause I know that some of the comments on that were like, Oh, I wish that that was like a surprise or like, Oh, I wish that I, I didn't know like what was coming up and things like that. But it's nice to know that like, uh, uh, uh people have like jumped on board even since the trailer dropped, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Again, the smallest of thoughts. Uh, was it that important that I derailed this conversation for a solid six so minutes in order to get to that? No, not even a little bit. Jordan, that's kind of you, uh, but it wasn't. Are you here for, for you or are you opposite? No, you got it right. I'm going to point to you now. Great. No, someone no, that's wrong. made me flip my camera. Well, it's right for me. And so like my camera is no longer flipped on my end, which I hate because I'm looking at my face like it's not in a mirror. And I hate that so much. And I can't figure out how to flip it back. And it also Why means would somebody recommend point, that to you? I sort of as like know. a nightmare. A social yeah, because like when it when it like produces the like final output, it's the correct like you'd be able to read keep Boston weird on my shirt, whether it's flipped it or not. Like to me. Yeah. So anyway, truly a nightmare for me. Um, I hate my face so much right now um, oh. because it's not the right face, right? Like, you, like it's not the reflection. It's what I look like in like what other people see me as, which is also, Can look, I tell we're you not going to, we don't have time to unpack all of that. We do have time because I have one thing that I have to tell you about, which is a nightmare <laughs> of mine is that I walk into a room and this does happen sometimes where something is just slightly different. And then you spend all day being like, what is different? Something has changed. <laughs> And I don't totally know what it is. And then you'd walk around and you're like, a book has a dust jacket off of it that didn't have a dust jacket off of it before. How long has it been like that? Who did that? Why would somebody do that? Just to torture me, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's or maybe cool. they weren't thinking and... about me at all. No, they were. Oh, that's kind of beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, 
the Reddit thread, one of the other very fun. So this is uh, back to what actually turns out to be a great segue into another thing that happened. Uh, your uh, six minute divergence um, uh, is that um, so someone was like, Brennan. I was like, great news. <laughs> He's coming. Oh, and yes. some And someone was like, oh, that's great. Uh, I'm really excited for him. And I was like, even better news. And this may be news to you, actually. He's the finale episode. Um, Sam told me that. News um, to me. Jordan, I watched the whole clip that you posted. Of course I knew uh, this. I okay. am supportive. I I, you posted I didn't the know clip that and I said, in... I'm going to watch the whole clip. I'm going to support. We're getting views up. We are, we're driving traffic. <laughs> I am, here we go. I'm all, I'm all yeah. in, baby. <laughs> but so, yeah. All right. Well, I didn't remember if that part made it into the clip because there's like an hour of footage. A lot of it is me talking to Sam about how brilliant you are. Um, uh, and Jordan. there's nothing you can do about that. Um, but, um, uh, and, and obviously him agreeing with me. Um, uh, but yeah, so like I, I posted like Brennan's the finale and Per Sam, we get more like a Vic's character than we've ever, and then in any episode, like it's the host Vic uh, of like, like we get the most host Vic reveals and they're like, that's really, really fun. And someone commented, spoiler tag, please. Um, and like, then they got downvoted a bunch, which made me feel good because I was like, I don't feel like that's a spoiler. Is that the um, hierarchy of Reddit? I don't spend much time on Reddit. Um, Reddit's a nightmare, uh, don't go. Um, well, I follow, I, um, I have like an account that I've had for a few years that I started at the beginning of the pandemic and I follow, uh, two subs. Don't say which ones they are. Cause people will find you. Um, Do you yeah, think? I, yeah, for sure. The, How would people be able to so find weird. me just by following, the, saying the two subs? Is that true? I they probably, I don't, I don't, I think you, I don't know if it's true or not. I think they're uh -oh. bad subs too, is what I'll say. Not bad in yeah. content. Well, like not bad in the, like, in like the content of what it is. That's putting a moral judgment on it. But like, not something that societally I think would be perceived as like taboo, but bad in the, the content of the physical, like, population again that's putting mm. a judgment but just sort of like uh it's i think it's probably fine to say toxic yeah it's fair um, horse therapy and uh i got i I'll don't say one of them. it's the marvel snap sub um and it is <laughs> i know I've you're got... super into the game yeah <laughs> it's my favorite game and i'm bad at I it and that. so i i i this was my most recent follow and i followed because i was like i need tips yeah. I need to know. Yeah. I need what decks I should be using. I'm doing badly here. I play Marvel Strike Force. Uh, I'm also very bad at it. What is that? Um, it, don't don't do it. It's okay. It, it's one of those like this is so pointless and and there is no reason for it. And I log in four to five times a day to like get all the hourly rewards, and that's. And I have, there's a whole discord that I'm in that's dedicated to yelling at people about not doing enough. I don't know why I do this. <laughs> anyway, eventually someone commented, how does that spoil this for you to the Brennan person? And then they deleted their comment and I felt very good about myself. Um, but one of the other things was that Brennan in the second season, they should just fake put um, prosthetics on him and then put him in an outfit that Izzy picked out for him and just have him come out and he's just in uh, nice clothes. That's so um, funny. It was it was pretty delightful. There's some pretty good like uh, uh, like Sam Reich as Dropout America CEO Sam Reich, um, which obviously like then he's no longer improvising. He's being told the character he's playing. But a lot of fun ideas that were thrown around. Um, I love that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a look. I'm gonna take a look at the thread. Don't don't do it. Well, no, no, that thread is safe. That thread I'll take it. a look at. I'm like, I'll, yeah. I'll I'll go pop. I'll go pop on and I'll I'll grab a little coffee and I'll sit and I'll read through yeah. the thread. Yeah, that thread is safe. I made a thread about how fantastic you are, um, and that thread is like 99% safe. And then you know how there's some weird dudes on the internet. They sure. got they, they, they showed up. Um, Jordan, that's very kind of you. I would, I would curl into myself and pass away reading that. I think uh, that it, uh, just compliments at you. Uh, yeah. So you didn't check out the? I think it's at 158 uh, comments on my TikTok video of just like how you're the most brilliant straight man isn't the right word, but like like voice of comic reason. foil. I started yeah, reading voice it, of and I was like, and I did legitimately send it to my dad. I was like, this is. 
I went, this is, this is nice. And it's too nice. And I started reading this and then I just started crying and I'm like, I, I'm going to pass this along to my, um, to my dad. Cause he, he loves reading comments. He loves, he loves looking through and he goes, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you about the comments. I'm not going to tell you about the comments, but there's a couple of people that said a couple of things about this episode. And he follows my dad is, um, uh, uh, his like contribution. Cause he, doesn't do any kind of like film or television or acting stuff or anything like that. And so he goes through like IMDB and like all of like the, the numbers and he tries to like analyze the videos and stuff like that. It's really, really, honestly, it was like a funny, cute thing he was doing at first. And now I'm kind of like, Oh, this is actually kind of um, helpful. <laughs> it's kind of helpful insight actually. Uh, so I feel like I learned something about myself through this as well. Yeah, no, that's delightful. Um, uh... Speaking of IMDb. Dying to know where this segue is going. <laughs> you've been had celebrity edition. Yeah. God, that was the most <laughs> uncomfortable 30 minutes I've ever spent in my life. Um, I told you. Was I talking to you about this? No. Or is this the <laughs> you were not, this is One of the many other podcasts you record. Any, I, think I wrote down on like one of my questions is how many podcasts would you say you record in like a given month? It's oh, so many. Uh, that was uh, that was I said no gifts, which is a podcast that I love it, yes. truly and dearly. And it's also one of those ones where like I found out that every single person that I know in my life, I have has has some connection to I said no gifts, mm -hmm. which was very cool through that. Um that is I'm not kidding, like one of the first gigs that I did in LA. And it's one of those things where like, I feel like I hit an age. Did you ever, did you journal or diary or anything like that? Did not. No, me uh, either. Like, I, and yeah, I, I mean, I'm like a blog that I wrote in, but it was for public thoughts. Sure, it, sure, it's sure. Great. I, um, do you have like something like that, that you look back on and it's just that moment of being like, oh, like cringy. And then you kind of like, mm -hmm. I think a lot in comedy, especially like I look back now on like people that wrote childhood diaries or had like things like that, that they did in like high school that they can then like share and look back on. And I'm like, oh man, if now in a comedic setting and as an adult and being at an age where I can like look back and kind of appreciate the person that I was then I'm like, I wish I had something like that. And I'm like, oh Baby, I do. I absolutely do. It's you. Hop had. on Tubi. It's free Celebrity to watch. Edition. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I can't imagine there was anything cut out of it because, my God, was it Did painfully they, slow. I have, that episode, too, it's painfully slow. Did they keep all the end of it in? Yeah. Uh, where she like storms out crying and they have to like run after her to be like, hey, no, 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 no. You're not actually under arrest. It was all a bit. Ha 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 ha. I thought you'd know because I was British. And it's like, that doesn't mean you can't be a cop. Um, <laughs> ever, ever met a British cop? No. Yeah. Um, yeah, it it was like on the day I remember being like, I do I quit? <laughs> do I quit? <laughs> if, is this what it is? Because if this is what it is, I think I need to quit. Uh, and I need to do something else and I need to come up with a, a new plan. Yeah, um, I, I will say I didn't watch the full 30 minutes. I skimmed around when you weren't on the screen because I was like, I can't handle the arrows that are pointing and being like just repeating what someone said, but with like a comical arrow and sound effect that pops up. Um, you made me chuckle once, which was a high <laughs> like bar to clear because my God, was it uncomfortable. That's um, very kind. And they were in our ears the entire time and we're just like say this go walk over uh okay okay uh you're working at the shop so uh go go clean that but clean closer to them and clean closer to them and then uh, and try and have a conversation and i'm just like so truly after that they hired actors for the rest of it and mm -hmm. i don't think i signed anything and even if i did um i feel fine uh saying that sp spilling the beans on you've been had celebrity edition <laughs> <laughs> it was like a couple of UCB folks. Like I, I, I had met a couple of people that way. Like I think I got that through a like a casting blast that they had sent out. Like mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, they needed they needed improvisers. That makes sense um, that they would want someone with a strong improv background to be like pretending whatever this nightmare is. It's one of the things <laughs> that makes me question my own sexuality because straight people love pranks so much. And every time I see them, I'm like, they're just so mean. And then I'm like, wait, am I not straight? Because I hate this with every ounce of my being. They are 
predicated on just being like, let's make this person look like the stupidest person on the planet yeah. for earnestly trying to give <laughs> the people around them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> yeah. And like, oh man, I just like... And also, like, it's one thing if is you that prank a in celebrity thing with pranks. I think yeah. you're right. Because what yeah. is it? The they've got cranky anchors, which, but that was one that was on Comedy Central. That one was with puppets, right? Yes, that was puppets prank calling people. Gotcha. That seems fun, if I'm being honest. But like yeah. the what is the other one? The the one that people it was love, like punked and practical jokers yeah, is what I'm thinking of. Practical jokers, yeah. Um, a lot of like very mean things to people and also like like tiktok periodically will pop up into my feed of like here's a prank that i played on my wife and it's just like the meanest thing imaginable i'm like i don't like this please go away forever yeah i like that is so funny that that is such a huge brand of humor it's just like i hate my wife let's let her know a little bit (laughs) (laughs) oh anyway i watched that episode i skimmed through i was skimmed through two episodes trying to find you i feel like uh, i owe you money (laughs) Nah, it was fun. Um, uh, it was fun to find it. Um, <laughs> on f- much more uh, happy topics. Sure. Zach Oyama. Good God. Oh, baby. What? I I love that. That that I, I truly love that episode. It was our, I think we talked about that. It was the last day of shooting, too. And it was just kind of a... And Zach also is one of those improvisers where I think, I think he's got, like, for me because we perform together quite a bit and he's got like one of the highest like joke per laugh ratios for me personally. We have a very similar sense of humor, I think. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, like I, I, I made a video about it. I think you saw it, but like, it was like, cause we'll, we have to talk about so much, but it was like, he genuinely was lost in Tommy Shrigley. Um, because yeah. military made him laugh after he answered it like he was surprised by the answer himself like he like fully tommy answered that question uh and then zach started to laugh after one thousand percent it was like when what is it what is that saying it's when an immovable object meets an unstoppable force an unstoppable force and i was just there kind of watching it (laughs) you know what i mean i was just sort of sitting there experiencing it (laughs) I was watching that happen inside of one person. And that was something <laughs> <laughs> that was, it really like, God, yeah. Cause it truly really was, it was sort of like the Nana where it was just sort of like, and honestly, uh, uh, Josh's character too, where it really was like, Zach came in and went and he sort of came up for air afterwards. And there was just like, you know, a couple of those moments, like I could not stop laughing. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not uh-huh. really a big in character laugher. Um, but there's like a few people that really can get me to giggle. And this Zach was one Ayama, of those. Zach Ayama. Zach Ayama, clearly one of them. Uh, yeah. yeah, I, um, uh, obviously like the two big breaks, I turned a hundred thousand dollars into $16,000 and military. Um, I'm assuming military. The second one was the one where it was like a full five minute break on set where you couldn't you would stop be correct. Laughing. I, yeah. it was one of those things where it was so fast and <laughs> like you said, kind of took both of us by surprise. Cause we also just like, you know, obviously we shoot for an hour. And so we had been talking about the military for even longer than got cut out. And so the fat and that how, you know, like he wasn't allowed back and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And so then for that to be, we usually shoot those questions at the end. And so like to have like had that conversation for like 20 minutes at the beginning and then to have all this other stuff had happened and then for that to be, it was a perfect, it was a oh. perfect third beat for that. It was, yeah. I mean, just, yeah. I, it was like, it was a perfect joke. Yeah. It was a I saw perfect someone, joke. Uh, yeah. I saw someone who was like, I was crying laughing before I realized what I could like, I cognitively realize what Zach had said. I was already laughing so hard at it. Um, a perfect like insert. Oh man, someone want, like wanted to know like how you can smile without looking like you're smiling. Because uh, the picture of like 
please stand by of you like holding a vase or whatever um just has like the most pained expression on your face uh, so uh, it's but... uh smiling it's um if you were just to do like a regular face and then you just you keep your eyes the same and then you just <laughs> Uh, smile with your mouth perfect yeah perfect <laughs> no notes um, somebody that hasn't actually done i my thought for this character really for host pick is i was just like i i think that this is a person that was told they have to smile more to be on camera and they probably spent hours in the mirror looking them to be like this is a smile something that sort of says i'm a reporter and i'm serious and i take this seriously but also is warm and inviting and that to me is this character's interpretation of that feeling. Oh. God, it's so good. <laughs> both both cutaways so good. Uh, just uh, thank you, Jordan. I, I like. I am genuinely like near tears thinking about it because um, I've only had it in my brain for like a week. Um, how long have you had? Come on, everybody, give me a little clap stuck a in your mind. Really long time. Yeah. Um, and it also is one of those things where sometimes I was like. I can't express to you how how far this character broke me. And I was just like, oh man, I, I was so excited to see the episode. And I was like, I really hope it plays. And it was one of those things where like, I went back and watched the episode and I was cry laughing again, watching it. I, which is yeah. maybe embarrassing to admit, but I'm like, no. I... I like Zach's it just came through so well in film also like no. everything Zach was doing it really was just incredible I'm out I mean, the gate so with they're wearing masks such an energy to bring just like immediately to the table um uh, so good instantly just like adversarial for no reason yes it also um, too is like you know it is the beauty of uh having guests on that i like i feel so um lucky to uh be not only like I, you know work with people that are so funny but also just like in my personal life get to improvise uh with people that are i, I mean like truly just make me laugh so 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 hard and so like between like jacob and zach and on the season, uh, we got Allie coming up too. I just like, you know, it's people that I am so deeply comfortable improvising with that it's just like, that is a moment that, you know, of course would happen with other people as well. But like, I, again, it's like, uh, that is also somebody where like, uh, I'm so comfortable improvising uh, with Zach and Zach knows me as an improviser so well that the, the, those moments I think really translate and really play. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, God, just... <laughs> But uh, so I want to give you credit as well, um, because no, no more it's credit. I can't. It's incredible. Um, two things specifically in the episode. One, the phenomenal joke: we don't throw things at PAs anymore. We can't throw things at PAs anymore. Ooh, mwah, so, so good. <laughs> the the anymore, the anymore, just like uh, so subtle, so brilliant. But also, I mean, in line with the coffee chug and leaning in for a kiss with Dr. Milk, going back for a second dousing of protein powder, just like, because that's why it's, you are not just the the voice of reason there, because you have fully leaned into the chaos of the thing that's across from you and sure. it's perfect sure. nick you are perfect at this um I'm gonna anyway melt. i'm gonna melt away you, uh, all right i will I'll, I'll i'll move on uh down the storm how drain. Long, and guess what how... things aren't absorbing into the ground in california so that's gonna be a problem <laughs> somebody's gonna have to come clean me up <laughs> how long until you stopped tasting protein powder like three mm. four days or still I mean, to this here day. Here was the issue is that like going into it, I decided I was going to do a second one. And then I didn't know that eating raw protein powder, it was just going to start cementing. It was literally <laughs> going to start turning into a solid. Um, mm -hmm. So I got, I would say a cup uh, and it was like in my eyes and in my nose and in my mouth. And it was literally turning into a cylinder. And part of what it was, was literally every single time I tried to say something, just a little bit of of, of like a, a poof of powder would come out and so I 
like my eyes were starting to cement shut. My, my airways were physically starting to close. It was in my ears. It was in, uh, because again, this was the last episode. So like we knew going into it uh, that we like had a little bit of room to um, mm-hmm. play with some of this stuff. So like, I, I mean, like it was in every, uh, every like crevice of my costume. It, um, how long was protein powder in my mouth for? I mean, it it felt like forever. It truly felt like forever. I think somebody flew in just like a little like thing to clean our mouths with going after a little while. Because again, it was just like, it was, I would say worse five five minutes after we did it versus even just the minute afterwards. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was, I mean, visually striking. The puffs, like, I do feel better. So good. But just like your bottom row of teeth that were just like, like, like chocolate brown of uh, just like and not it's just oh so upset Pirates of the caribbean uh, teeth yes yes very much so yeah someone it was like it's the cinnamon challenge and vic chose to do it a second time um it's so good um and i i love that you were able to at least mostly hold it together through that that's kind of um, you to say i don't know that that is um true i think that is you being uh kind i <laughs> that episode <laughs> especially like i look at and i'm like i'm looking at every single frame and i am i am truly i feel like fighting for my life in that one from like pretty look, much the jump i can well, see from pre-jump because you posted the picture of you going into the green room to say hi to zach and you got to see tommy before zach had seen him and I believe Zach Oyama described it as you walked in, couldn't form words, and walked out. Yeah, I <laughs> I did. So, like, they had told me he was going to be up there. They were like, you can go grab your phone, but you can't say anything. Like, you can go in there, but, like, you know, blank, fla- blank, blank face, get out. And I was like, amazing. And so, because normally that's what I like to do when people are makeup, but also, like, with block shooting, just to go and say hi. Um, uh, uh, and just like, you know, to chat a little bit if there's time for it. And uh, so I walked upstairs and I saw Zach sitting down and I think I said, excuse me at first, because I didn't recognize him. And I thought somebody else was sitting in there and Zach just goes, hey, Vic. And I take a second and I just sort of stare at him. And then I leave the room (laughs) And then I come back and I collect myself. I'm like sitting on the stairs weeping. Um, <laughs> and I am like, okay, here we go. Like you could do this. Just go get your phone, go say hi and then leave. And I, I think I, I think I just walked in. I took the photo and I left. I don't think I said a single word if I could guess. Uh, yeah. Incredible. I can't like, uh, uh, so I'm, I'm part of a new podcast called the Dropout Drop-In, um, where we recap like things that happened on Dropout over Whoa! the past week. Um, That's so cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Is this point, your podcast? Like, I'm a co-host. Someone right. else is like really steering the ship, which is great for me. Um, cause I can just show up and be like, Hey, what's up? I have thoughts. Um, I'm and not that's, the best. yeah, my favorite vibe. <laughs> um, um, but we had, we had talked about like this so we record on Monday. So this previous Monday, we decided we weren't going to talk about Tommy Shrigley yet because we wanted to both, I wanted to get your insights, uh, but also we want to see the last looks tomorrow um, because oh, it's so important for everything that he becomes as to like what Alex and team were thinking of truly the monstrosity that he was. Um, I thought it was so cool having the opportunity to see Zach play a character like this. Cause I think on stage, I feel like I do get to see him play like mm-hmm. some like fun, silly, wacky characters a lot, which is like, I mean, just like such a strength of his. And I really think that that, that like side of him as an improviser, um, like he really tapped into on like on stage. And it really just is like, so magical he's so good at it he's just so i mean like you know he's he's one of the most talented people in the world and he's so um he's so so unbelievably funny in this i'm so happy that it's like across the board i feel like that's what i keep coming back to is i'm like i i mean i've said this to you before i think my friends are just like the funniest people on the planet and getting to 
see that echoed back through other people as well and to see them like get appreciated is just the is really is like is such a such a gift it's so magical i'm i'm so glad um yeah i'm, I'm just so glad that other people get to see like what a very small select few of people get to see if you like you have access to like coming to live shows in los angeles you know yeah and i think one of the cool things specifically about this episode is we got like dropout people get to see zach in much more the comedy sniper role of like i'm waiting back and i'm hitting the perfect moment and like devastatingly funny um but a lot of times don't get to see how big and broad he can also do um and i love love that the makeup team forced him into that of like no we know how talented you are in like the goofiest silliest way and we are going to demand that you perform that for us um, i think uh, so as we sort of were looking at um i uh i got to see a little bit of like uh pairing characters with people a little bit and i think like there was some movement maybe for some other characters but i'm pretty sure off the board they were like this is a this is gonna be zach i'm pretty sure this yeah. one has to be zach <laughs> oh man I, yeah I, I love how many people were like i didn't because I, I also didn't recognize him um until he spoke and then you're like oh okay i got it um but yeah like in the trailer I, I, the first poster came out and i think his picture may have been on it whatever i saw a picture of him at some point or maybe in the trailer and i was like i don't know who that is and then it was like <laughs> zach Oyama, and i was like oh i wouldn't have guessed um, yeah i mean just like the i mean i cannot stress how talented alex and and everybody yeah. on that team were like um, <laughs> unbelievable like he and ally and iffy are like the big ones that really really stand out is just like i mean those complete transformations really mm -hmm. are just incredible i mean all, all of the subtle stuff is amazing too like josh like getting the acne on and stuff like that but i mean those huge transformations and in the time in which they did them is just yeah incredible i can't wait for last looks uh this week because again yeah. i wasn't getting to see a ton of these transformations either especially later in the day right. um so i'm so excited to see this one come together yeah it's uh god just magic yeah i i have my i have my dm sent out to alex right now to be like all right let's talk because i've been waiting for tommy um because that was the one i wanted to hear the most about um, totally but, and it's a good and... mid-season point too i think for this yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. uh and you've gotten i think well, I mean, everybody's got like, you know, obviously, um, uh, pretty incredible transformations, but I think like now you've got a bulk at least of those, like mm -hmm. the big, big transformations. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, we've seen who else is coming, um, uh, um, uh, and, uh, spoilers beware, uh, spoilers like, beware, excited, spoiler tag. Sp yeah. Spoiler tag this excited for, uh, uh, Oscar and Giovanni excited for Ross and Rashawn excited for Izzy excited for Brennan excited for BDG. Um, like, um, I think I nailed all six. Uh, yeah. yeah. Great. Look at me. Hey, look at you. Look at Come on. Uh, <laughs> they don't call yeah, you the they... unofficial dropout reporter for nothing. Yeah. Like I'm getting scoops from Sam Reich for a reason. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was very fun getting to talk to him. What I, was it, going into that interview? What What was your mindset? Were you nervous? No, terrifying. come on. Yeah, uh, uh, cool. Because like, like I'm terrified. Before, I'm not terrified before most of these interviews. I'm very nervous before most of these interviews. Um, yours no longer so, uh, but the first one very nervous for. Um, Why well, is that you really mean email before? <laughs> yeah, you've been very cruel. My writer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I will only I will I will only record if there is a seven second delay, delay. between what yeah. you say. Yeah. Um and thank you yeah, for making I, uh, that happen. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was I was super nervous. Um and like you know, like I probably have I shown you my note what my notes look like? Because they're unhinged. Um like uh, Oh, I love that. No, that like, I would call that a list. <laughs> yeah, but like sometimes, like I've got like why Zach look timing exhaustion. Um, it's specifically talking about like why he specifically Is broke that in you. Case somebody like, steals your notebook, that way they can't become the unofficial dropout reporter. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know why I do this. Um, but yeah, I um, yeah, I uh, talking to Sam. One of the things that Sam said to me was basically that like that he was nervous about the interview uh that might be paraphrasing a little bit but because most times he does interviews it's with like 
general entertainment reporters, not someone like me who he said the word gastronauts. And I was like, that's a new show that you haven't mentioned before. Um, like, like it's like, I have that level of dropout knowledge that like I could get seriously deep on like any specific thing that he says. Um, so, but I didn't push him on anything. I was very proud of myself. Cause I was like, I'm not going to ask him what gastronauts is. I'm not going to ask him if pissing out cancer is one of the Do you want me to tell sets. you? Like, yeah, please. You want to no, spoil it for everyone? No, yeah. I won't. I know you won't. You, you can't. <laughs> Who's to say? I, I can't and I wouldn't. And who's to say? That's right. Yeah. Um, uh, that was yeah, a trick. Uh, that was a trick for you, actually. And um, so that was a prank. I knew that you, was a prank I knew that you, I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, knew you, I knew you weren't going to say <laughs> that, that what it was. What if I did? What if that was my new oh. thing as I sort of Tom Holland myself of like the dropout yeah. universe? But this is dropout cinematic universe of just like, you want to know everything? Here it is. Um, uh, uh, yeah, burn burn that bridge. Um, uh, no, of course I would. Uh, first of all, I would cut it out of our interview. Um, I would edit around it because I would not I allow would, you. And then to... I would put out a public call of saying, put in the, <laughs> put in the edits. <laughs> I'm going to make just like a hard edit right here. And then pretend like I've edited something out. Um, Jordan, uh, no. <laughs> I, I won't actually do that. It would take so much more work than just like deleting the three sentences off the beginning and hitting export. Um, I sometimes have to. <laughs> Periodically, um, I'll There's have like to. A... Like, yeah, like someone will be like, hey, uh, someone will reach out to be like, hey, I said something that kind of sounded weird. Um, could you like cut that? And I'm like, yeah, of course. That's... I don't <laughs> think I've ever thought to do that. That would be, that actually is so smart. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is really really smart i'm gonna keep that in my back pocket i it never yeah. even occurred to me that you could do that i feel like sometimes yeah. it says stuff and i'm like well i told four of my sister's secrets on that podcast and <laughs> i talked a lot about a pastor who should be in jail on that yeah podcast. no that i stand uh, by i think that yeah. um so that glad. i that i <laughs> i did in that interview i did have a thought where because i think i don't know if it got if it made the edit where one of my family members who um uh is loves direct sales yes that made the edit great perfect yeah, yeah. <laughs> i kept don't know it vague if... enough that like i mean did the did my guess the, is did the relation that person is not... I think so. Like the edit? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That one I was like, I... I mean, who's listening into... I stand by not... it. Yeah. I stand by it. I stand by it. And also, like, come on. They're not gonna... They're I not also gonna think to I like... Podcast. They... I think I have... Because I've got a lot of siblings. I know you're an only child. But I have... Was that a secret? We can edit that out. Cut that part out. <laughs> cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> now there's a hard cut. Um, but I've got a lot of siblings. And we are... Love language really is just sort of yelling at each other. That's sort of how we deal with things and how we communicate is sort of like, yeah. uh, you know, lovingly shouting, I think for the most part. I mean, like, it's yeah. like good communication, but it is done. And I would say in an energetic fashion. Um, and so it's I don't super know. helpful for me to hear that kind of thing because I DM. Uh, and so, like, I have to play siblings a lot. Um, mm. and, um, it's something that I've actually talked to Abria about of like the challenge of playing a sibling when you have none. Abria is also an only child. Um, uh, and Whoa. It, do you find it difficult? Uh, it's, it's somewhat, I mean, I, I have, I, it's not that it's difficult. It is like a thought process though of like, okay, what is a sibling relationship like? Um, like I hope that I am portraying what you know, this person that is, you know, I'm the sibling of, like, makes sense to them. So far, it's been good uh, with everyone that I've ever had to portray. But yeah, it's, it is something that's kind of strange to think about. Well, I mean, that um, really is it, too, is like, and I mean, like, uh, siblings, like, you know, I, there's like no right or wrong way to have that relationship either, right? And so if it is really distance, or it's like, oh, you know, whatever, like that, there's plenty of relationships like that, too. I love that. Um, yeah. um no, man, that's awesome. Are you working on a campaign right now? Do, are you doing it for like um, online stuff or are you doing it in IRL, nope. in real life? Just just in real <laughs> life. Um, look, there's enough. There's enough actual plays out there. Um, I don't sure. I don't have I don't have any like unique enough hook that I'm like, no, you should listen to my friends uh, uh, pretend to be characters. Um, uh, so, yeah, I I'm also not, just. I'm not, 
Oh, no, please go ahead. It was going to be a compliment to you. So go ahead. Um. I legitimately do think, too, that, like, because there's, like, a, um, you know, in general with, like, recording stuff and uh, doing, like, any kind of, like, play for uh, performance, I think there, I like, the most, for 99% of the time, the most fun you'll ever have, again, is, yeah, just, like, doing shit with your friends, like, you Mm -hmm. know, in a living room or like i mean like the hardest i've ever laughed is like doing like herald practice you know what i mean like that Mm -hmm. type of stuff just doing rehearsals and things like that and i mean like i know again as we're all turning into these tiny little companies um that need to have uh the brand objectives and things like that it's like hard to just be like i'm just doing this because it's fun and it's for myself and it like helps like fill me up as a uh as a person um so i think that actually what you're doing is radical and important oh, thank you i read your Substack interview um uh, i know i know what you're talking about uh, i gotta say jordan you're i read content, that interview I'm consuming it uh, i <laughs> <laughs> um thank you you and my dad this is huge uh for me <laughs> i i have to say i went back and i reread that interview and i was like i can't i think i can't read these anymore because uh the way in which i speak does not translate into a written format i think i thought it read well disagree i here's what i will say as someone who's spoken to you quite a bit um uh, i think they did some generous edits for how the ends of your (laughs) sentences sometimes are Yeah, I think that that's absolutely. <laughs> I did end a lot of those questions with, I don't know, um, does that work? What do you think about that? What was the question? I did spend a lot of time asking if um, she could repeat the question. Um, yeah, that's fair. I'm going to say that that's fair. Edit that. Edit that mm-hmm. out. Um, yeah. I feel like that's, I feel like that is very uh, fair. I think that that's speaking, fair. Speaking of fantastic roasts. Your episode, Sam Says 3, next Monday night. Is that true? Live to drop out. A 45-minute cut. Um, oh, baby. I didn't realize it was happening next week. Not next week, but like a week from Monday. Because next week next will be week. the behind-the-scenes newly web. Yeah. Um, oh, so. man, I love that. I Alexis, I think, is just like one of the funniest people on the planet. Oh, I love so the good. newly web episode. So good. I really uh, so like wholesome and fun. And, yeah. Um, I also, I told Sam this, uh, and I'll, I'll tell you as well. Uh, uh, my wife and I were playing along with the things that we could, you know, like play along with. Um, and so like, um, we were okay. okay. Um, um, like, you know, my wife correctly guessed my top, uh, app that I use TikTok, not to su- the surprise of anyone. Um, and then I couldn't, didn't get that it was Instagram and Spotify were my two and three. Um, but, uh, I looked on my TikTok time usage uh and for a week it was 24.5 hours and i feel like that might be too much tiktok um no no if you feel good about that i feel good about that for you i support you if you if you're happy with that then i'm happy with that for you and i love that Uh, um uh, the thought process that i had here was that uh sam says roast me was the transition Um, um i'm assuming you need to go which is obviously fine. Um, the great debate. Do you want to explain it? Oh, plug it? does it yes, matter? I would love to explain it. Um, yes, I don't totally understand it. If I'm being honest, it looked like a lot of fun. All my friends were doing it, and I said mm-hmm. absolutely because I'm um, very good friends with Angela, who does much small stuff, um, and then obviously Grant and Giovanni. I love, um, and I think Chance is doing it too, right? I think so. Yes, and I know. Um, I know Chance from UCB stuff. Um, I mean, just like a, a a group of like the such unbelievably funny people. And I'm so excited to get to perform with them. And everything I've heard about Tin Cambros has been overwhelmingly. My good friend Gabe, who does a bunch of stuff over there, was like, oh, you're you're doing the, the debate. That's so exciting. What is it? I don't know. We're going to find out together. And I can't wait. Great. I'm so excited for you. If you need any help uh, uh, with debate prep, I am, in fact... A fantastic high school debater. That is uh, the only trophy I kept. I was 13 okay. in the nation. Can we have a segment a next senior. time where we practice yeah. debating? I would actually love yeah, that. Absolutely. That would be very helpful, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, with the NFL, the National Forensic League. Is that um, uh, what it's called? That's what it's called. The Legally, National Forensic is it allowed League. to be called that? <laughs> I think they were around before the National Football League, and I think they probably have a few more lawyers in their back pocket uh, based on not money, but lawyers for sure who've come out of debate. Um, anyway, Vic, as always, the most fun in the world. Uh, Jordan, uh, what a blast and what a pleasure. And thank you once again for having me getting more and more seamless. Yeah, Less and less we're, technical we're getting difficulties. Better. We're going to need to rename the podcast, I think. We are, yeah. Um, all right, that's it. Bye.